Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So I hear that a lot of you guys are stuck. Now don't worry too much about it, that's why I'm here today to give you a little bit of advice on what to do in case you feel stuck. Because I completely get it right, I've been there before, I know what it's like to feel like you do not know what to do next. And unfortunately, I came from a time when there was really very little advice given to players around. So it was really difficult for me in the early game as well. So from all the information that I've gathered thus far and all the experience that I've acquired throughout this entire journey, here are basically my best tips for you. So if you're, for example, you're stuck in the story, you're stuck in like hard mode, you know, I know a lot of people are actually stuck in like chapter 1-8 or some are even stuck at chapter 8, chapter 9 or even a chrono stage, right, chapter 11. That is perfectly fine because guess what, I was stuck there before. So because previously I did not have a lot of guidance, so what I did was actually to farm relics and therefore I actually wasted a whole ton of time because I spent all that time farming the wrong stage. So I was like busy farming Chrono 7 and, and Chrono 6 and that was such a huge waste of my stamina and more importantly a huge waste of my time. So honestly those relics that I farmed only lasted me for about maybe 2 weeks and after that I just completely sold them because I grew so fast afterwards and I was able to move on to K10 very soon after when I changed my strategy a bit. Okay so without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about what you can do in case you are stuck. Well, some things that I'm not going to talk about is like team management and team composition and just basically like making the most out of your espers. So I'm going to reserve that for another video, but this is going to be a little bit more simple to digest. Now, one thing that really helps a lot, I think, is going to be the courses. Now, do take note that the courses are very well tailored in the sense that not only are they structured in a way that allows you to progress gracefully, but the rewards that they generally provide are extremely good. So it can even range from things like Abilimons, Legendary Abilimons, Gold Records, or even a lot of gold, which is going to give you a big head start in the game. So I would highly suggest that you go through the entire course over here, and this is going to be a very good way for you to understand the game and to learn exactly what the game has to offer you in terms of content, because honestly, it covers everything, okay? It even covers everything from climbing the story to even fusing your first Gabrielle. It is basically an encyclopedia of everything that you need to know. So make it a habit to always check your courses and also your achievements, okay? Don't forget to check your achievements because there are some things in achievements that, oh wait, I just need to summon another 10 more times and I get a, another 50 gems or something like that. Yeah, so these things do exist. Okay, but I'm not just going to talk about the recon plan because then I will be robbing you of your time because honestly, it's not good enough information. So if you'd like to know more, do consider subscribing because subscribing is free and you can always change your mind and it's also a great way to help out my channel. Okay, so for a lot of you guys who are like stuck in the story or stuck in chronos and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I going to progress? Dude, do me a favor, take a look at your Esper. Tell me what's wrong with your Esper, okay? Is your Esper max level yet? If it's not, why not? And secondly, is your Esper fully ascended yet? If it's not, why not? So there is basically no excuse as to why you can't clear content. The experts that I introduce to you are very good at clearing content. I will never sell you short by giving you dumb Esper recommendations. Like I think the only bad advice that I gave you is probably to suggest Zelma as a potential replacement to Lin Xiao in the Temporal Tower. But other than that, I will not sell you short just for views. So do go back to some of the videos that I've talked about on some of the good Espers to have as a free to play player as well. So of course, these Espers are going to be Liling, Drew, Changpu, Anki Chai, Suhua, Dahlia, Gabrielle, Fabrice, Jean, and Melanie, and some others as well. Now, all you really need to do is to just invest into these espers and put everything into them. Okay, but maybe I should be a little bit more specific. So let's say you are stuck in the story, right? You're trying to clear this stage and move on to the next chapter, but honestly, it is just way too difficult right now. So the first thing I can suggest to you is to perform practice stages. As you can see on the screen over here, there is practice stages. Go ahead and partake in it. So just do the hardest that you can achieve with a full team of your entire squad that requires levels. So like, for example, if your main team still have espers that are not max level yet, go ahead and chuck them in and just build a lot of stats through leveling up. But okay, sometimes it may be a valid concern like, hey, I should be able to perform harder practice stages, but I just cannot continue. So what can I do? So the next thing that I can suggest for you is to climb your Sonic Miracles. Okay, so you should grind whatever that you can do, even if it's a low level Sonic Miracle, just go ahead and grind it. Now, when you have successfully ascended a couple of times on your Espers, go back to the story mode and see whether you can complete it now. If you still cannot, then maybe you go back to the Sonic Miracles again. Or I can suggest you to go to the Ritual Miracle, not to grind it, but to climb it. So just try to climb it as far as you can and only start grinding it when you can reach like K9 and K10. 
Also, do take this opportunity to use some of your allies' espers, especially those who can solo K10. So for example, if you're on an honor server and you add me as your friend, you can definitely use my donor to solo K10. So that way, you can ascend to K10 and do repeated expeditions on K10. And that is one way that you can start grinding relics to really push your PvE content a lot further. And of course, you can do the same for APEP as well, just climb to wherever that you can climb. Now, apart from the Ritual Miracle, what you can also try to achieve is the Spatial Tower. I know this says Temporal Tower. However, let's focus more on the early game, which is your Spatial Tower. So never slip up on this, try your best to reach level 100. And I will probably come up with a Spatial Tower guide very, very soon. And what are some of the aspects that work really well for the Spatial Tower? And of course, the reason why you want to achieve a 100th floor clear is to get the Legendary Lucas. Now, Lucas is going to be extremely powerful for K10, and unfortunately, I came from a time where Dona is the 100th floor clear, so I do not have a Lucas to show you how he works for K10, but I can guarantee you that he is a beast. And of course, apart from all these different goals, you may also try to achieve a fusion. So the first Esper that I recommend you to fuse is going to be Fabrice because he really helps you a lot in the Spatial Tower. He effectively doubles any of your DPS into two DPS because he gives your DPS another turn. So more info on Fabrice on a later date, but just keep this on your radar. Make sure part of your goals is to fuse one of these two espers. So now that you have truly done everything that you can do, and I mean I haven't even started on point wall as well, then you will find that you are no longer stuck in content. So previously I was too focused on just climbing the story and grinding low level relics, that really ruined my early game a lot. But of course this may not be the case for you, maybe you luck out on some of your relics which is fine. But please do not bank on the idea that you're going to get very good relics to boost your team very early on in the early game, that's not going to happen. So with that, you can finally go back into the story and see that you can climb again. And of course, if you are finally unstuck, do consider leaving a thumbs up because that really helps the channel. And subscribe for more dislike content because I upload every single day. And this has been Daddy Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video.